So, maybe I can talk to you guys about my little ear trouble. So, I got my ears pierced when I was literally... Oh my god, I was a baby. I only remember faintly... Okay, maybe I was like three or four. I remember faintly there were Legos in the piercing room for like little children. And I was like playing with it. I don't remember the actual like me getting my ears pierced though. And, um... So I guess when you get it done at a very young age, you, you know how your ears still grow? The hole kind of moves, like the piercing hole. So that happened with me, I guess. And um, this piercing hole is way lower than this piercing hole. And it's so OCD. I hate it more than anything. I try to ignore it. But I went to go put... Okay, I put the earring in this ear. And then I went to go put it in this ear. And there was like no hole like this ear completely closed up, but then this ear didn't and I was like shoot So I re-pierced this ear myself Oh That hurts so bad like that's a whole other ball game to be honest um, but I did it and I did it in such a horrible way that When I'm wearing earrings you can tell that this hole is so much lower than this hole and it just It's lopsided. I try to deal with it. That's okay. Um I do want to get it re-pierced one day just so it evens out more because I do really like wearing earrings and it's like shocking that I'm not wearing them today. I'm just not wearing them because I'm wearing like a statement necklace and a bow. So I don't want to be like too much on my face and I have my glasses on and this and that. So this is my normal pierced ear so it looks normal. See how this one's way low? Do you notice Bibby? Oh I never noticed that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now that's all you're going to be able to notice. So. This ear closed up when I was in high school. Just, it just happened. It, it was so weird. This one didn't. So I had to re-pierce it myself. I was in a children's shelter and you can't just go up to them and say, um, can I, can I get my ears pierced? No. I also pierced my cartilage. I actually had someone do it for me. Did you? I did. It was a whole moment. Do you remember when Girls used to do that back in the bathroom. I was in a bathroom. Yes. <laughs> okay, that was the thing, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, the cartilage didn't take, so I had this huge bump. I still have a little moment, like if you put your finger there, you could feel my cartilage. It just won't won't do it. I did it again when I was 18. Didn't accept. But anyways, I pierced this myself, and I did it too low. <laughs> So it's not even with this ear. It's not that this is sagging. It's I put my hole too low. So I need to like get it re-pierced and get my hole to be the same. Do you get what I'm saying? Either tell me the truth or shut up. When I was in high school, my friend noticed in newspaper class, random fact, I was part of newspaper um, my last year of high school. I was the advice column. Yes, I was. So I gave advice in the newspaper. That was a lie. My sister just called me right as we were getting into Target that my grandpa just had a stroke. And she's home alone and she doesn't want to be home alone. And on top of that, she's stressed worrying about my grandpa. So she wants us to go over there and uh, keep her company. And then we're going to stay updated on my grandpa. Yeah, so that's like really, really sad and really bad news. And I hope he's okay. I feel like he is. Like, I just get that, like, feeling. But you never know because strokes can play, like, a big... He hasn't been doing like, good. Yeah, he, he hasn't been... Surgery he did just legs. have surgery. Um, Because I remember when my grandma had a stroke. This was years and years ago. And she was in the newspaper, newspaper because she was, like, the magical stroke lady. Like, oh, my God. What? Because she had that type of stroke that kills you. And it's very rare that you get out of it. And she was out of it with no symptoms like there are some people at our work who have survived strokes which is absolutely amazing but they have like those symptoms whether it be a gimpy arm or they can't walk anymore, i have actually been suspended from school quite a few times i was a rebellious kid slash teenager and i know it's just because of all the shit that i went through slash was going through um i i didn't care i didn't care about nothing but this story in particular so it was lunchtime i was in ninth grade and i hung out under this like 
I want to say awning is that what they're called I don't really know um, it was just me my group of friends and there was this other group of people who hated us I don't know why um like you know how there's like clicks it kind of felt like that type of energy I honestly got along with everybody in high school about school I never went I got made fun of every single day every day I was bullied um I was the smelly kid I was the fat girl um that's how people knew me I was fat amber I didn't know how to handle it but I just got bigger and bigger random fact I was actually nominated as friendliest or slash nicest in high school it was me and this other girl unfortunately uh, I was runner-up but the fact that I was even nominated says a lot about what people thought of me okay that was that was a narcissist <laughs> I'm just kidding I had my group of friends and then there was this other group of friends that like hung out like near there but like hated us I don't know so at the time for some reason the group that hated my group well I wouldn't say my group I wasn't like the head honcho or anything but the group that I hung out with like my friends and stuff for some reason they hated me the most and my best friend at the time the most I don't know why um I remember there was like 10 minutes left to lunch and when I tell you this is all a blur I'm like not even kidding I have no idea what happened I'm just like still to this day like what so something was said that's all I know and then all of a sudden my best friend at the time and like the main girl of the other group are physically fighting each other I hear yelling people start surrounding then all of a sudden there's hair pulling I see an earring that fell off and then a girl's nail clipped off who was trying to help her friend I don't know but not once did I throw a punch I stood there and watched I'm not gonna lie I am not a violent person I don't hit people not my jam not who I am I do not think that violence solves anything Liar! what was your nastiest fight with a friend ever about oh do I have to admit to this hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay it was a physical altercation it was one of the only times I have ever physically hit someone I was 15 she had intercourse with my brother and then my ex-boyfriend within the same hour I was a uh, rebellious teenager if you will I was high and drunk at the same time and I went a little you know how that goes yeah um, that's all you need Dang. what is your most so here comes a teacher break it up you know break it up you know typical what you see in like TV shows when a fight happens in school that's pretty much what it looked like but just less exaggerated we we're all in like this circle so the teacher couldn't really see who was actually fighting um it was it was a mess i want to say there was like 15 of us so definitely less exaggerated than like what you see in a tv show but it was like that pretty much so next thing i know it was me my friend who fought and then the girl who fought and then like two of her other friends we were all sitting in the office and we had to one by one go in the principal's office and say exactly what happened we had to write it down on this like big piece of paper exactly what happened like well long story short my best friend lied not really my best friend now right <laughs> my best friend lied and said that it was me that fought and the girl who fought my best friend said it was me who fought so long story short i get sp suspended for fighting when it wasn't me i am confused why my best friend would lie my biggest takeaway from the whole thing is that my dad stole a laptop you're lying the horse, the bean bags, and 